The Coast Starlight is a passenger train operated by Amtrak on the west coast of the United States. It runs from Seattle, Washington, to Los Angeles, California, via the San Francisco Bay Area. The train was the first to offer direct service between the two cities. Its name is a combination of two Southern Pacific SP trains, the Coast Daylight and the Starlight. The train has operated continuously since Amtrak's formation in 1971. Unique among Amtrak's long-distance trains, the Coast Starlight featured a high-level lounge for sleeping car passengers—the Pacific Parlor Car—which was discontinued in February 2018. History Background Before the formation of Amtrak, no one passenger train ran the length of the West Coast. The closest equivalent was the Southern Pacific Railroad S West Coast, which ran via the San Joaquin Valley from Los Angeles to Portland, Oregon from 1924 to 1949, with through cars to Seattle via the Great Northern Railway GN. By 1971, the SP operated just two daily trains between Los Angeles and the San Francisco Bay Area, the Los Angeles–San Francisco Coast Daylight via the coastline, and the Los Angeles–Oakland–San Joaquin Daylight via the Central Valley. The SP also operated the tri-weekly cascade between Oakland and Portland, Oregon. The Burlington Northern Railroad and Union Pacific Railroad ran three daily round trips between Portland and Seattle. The Santa Fe ran the San Degan between Los Angeles and San Diego. Topic: History. With the start of Amtrak operations on May 1, 1971, a single train began running between Seattle and San Diego. The unnamed train number 11 and 12 ran 3 days a week. On the other 4 days, another unnamed train number 98 and 99 ran between Oakland and Los Angeles. On November 14, Amtrak extended the Oakland-Los Angeles train to San Diego, renumbered it to number 12 and 13, and renamed it Coast Daylight. The Seattle-San Diego train became the Coast Daylight Starlight hash to 12 northbound and Coast Starlight Daylight hash 13 to 14 southbound. Both trains were cut back from San Diego to Los Angeles in April 1972, replaced by a third San Degan. On June 10, 1973, Amtrak began running the combined Coast Daylight Starlight daily for the summer months. Positive response led to Amtrak to retain this service, and the Coast Daylight name was dropped on May 19, 1974. An additional train, the Spirit of California, ran the section of the route between Sacramento and Los Angeles on an overnight schedule from October 25, 1981 to September 30, 1983. From November 10, 1996 to October 25, 1997, through coaches were transferred between the Coast Starlight and San Degan at Los Angeles. The Coast Starlight originally used the Southern Pacific West Valley Line between Tehama and Davis. That route included a stop at Orland, but bypassed Sacramento. On April 26, 1982, the train was rerouted via Roseville on the Southern Pacific Valley Subdivision and Martinez Subdivision, with stops added at Sacramento and Chico, per request from the state. In 1999, the Coast Starlight was rerouted onto the more direct ex Western Pacific Sacramento subdivision between Marysville and Sacramento, with the Marysville stop closed. Ridership declined by 26% between 1999 to 2005 as freight congestion and track maintenance on the Union Pacific Railroad reduced the Coast Starlight's on time performance to 2%, which Amtrak characterized as dismal. By midsummer in 2006 delays of 5 to 11 hours were common. Critics dubbed the train the Star Late. During early summer 2008, the Coast Starlight was relaunched with new amenities and refurbished equipment. In July 2008, refurbished Pacific Parlor cars returned to service as part of the relaunch. This was much anticipated, due to the success of Amtrak's relaunches of the Empire Builder. 
Between FY2008 and FY2009, ridership on the Coast Starlight jumped 15% from 353,657 passengers to 406,398 passengers. Operating conditions on the UP improved as well. By May 2008, on time performance had jumped to 86%. Service was suspended north of Sacramento for a month in 2017 after a freight derailment damaged a bridge near Mount Shasta, California. On February 24, 2019, train number 11 struck a fallen tree near Oak Ridge, Oregon after a rare heavy snowstorm. The train was stranded for 36 hours before tracks could be cleared for a Union Pacific locomotive to tow the train back to Eugene Springfield. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Future improvements. The 2018 California State Rail Plan, prepared by Caltrans, outlines a number of planned improvements to rail infrastructure in the state of California. These proposals include near-term plans to create additional stops on the coast subdivision at Soledad and King City for use by the Coast Starlight. There is also a proposal in the Capital Corridor Vision Plan to improve the right-of-way shared by the Capital Corridor and Coast Starlight between Oakland and Martinez. The proposal would reroute the train from along the coastline to a new tunnel through Franklin Canyon and a right-of-way next to California State Route 4 that would reduce the trip time by several minutes. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Route Except for two sections, most of the Coast Starlight route is on former Southern Pacific lines now owned by the Union Pacific Railroad. The Coast Starlight runs over the following lines BNSF Seattle Subdivision XNP, later XBN, Seattle to Portland, Oregon UP Brooklyn Subdivision, Portland to Eugene, Oregon UP Cascade Subdivision, Eugene to Klamath Falls, Oregon UP Black Butte Subdivision, Klamath Falls to Dunsmuir, California UP Valley Subdivision, Dunsmuir to Marysville, California UP Sacramento Subdivision XWP, Marysville to Sacramento, California UP Martinez Subdivision, Sacramento to Oakland UP Niles Subdivision, Oakland to Elmhurst UP Coast Subdivision, Elmhurst to San Luis Obispo UP Santa Barbara Subdivision, San Luis Obispo to Moorpark, California UP – Metrolink SCAX Ventura Subdivision, Moorpark to Taylor Yard, Los Angeles Metrolink SCAX River Subdivision, Taylor Yard to Los Angeles Union Station The Coast Starlight is occasionally diverted between Oakland and Los Angeles via the Tri-Valley, Central Valley, and Teachapi Pass due to track work or service disruptions on the coastline. These rerouted trains are popular with railfans due to the passage through the Teachapi Loop on the Mojave Subdivision, which has otherwise closed to passenger trains since 1971. Topic equipment The train uses double-decker Superliner I and II equipment, including a sightseer lounge car that has floor-to-ceiling windows to view the passing scenery. Baggage is placed in one of Amtrak's new Viewliner II single-level baggage cars or in designated coach class cars. The Coast Starlight typically uses two GEP 42 DCs for locomotive power. Secondary locomotives that are occasionally utilized are the older GEP 328 BWHs and GEP 40 DCs. While the length of the train varies, in 2011 the peak consist comprised a baggage car, transition sleeper, three sleeping cars, Pacific parlor car, dining car, sightseer lounge, and four coaches. Prior to February 2018, the Coast Starlight was unique in that it included a first class lounge car called the Pacific parlor car. The cars were Bud High Level Sky Lounge cars, built in 1956 for the Santa Fe's El Capitan service. Called a «living room on rails», the parlor car offered several amenities to first-class sleeping car passengers including wireless internet access, a full bar, a small library with books and games, an afternoon wine tasting, and a movie theater on the lower level. Sleeping car passengers could also make reservations to dine in the parlor car, which offered a unique menu not offered in the standard dining car. 
In January 2018, in a cost-cutting measure, Amtrak announced the discontinuation of the Pacific Parlor cars, citing the move as part of Amtrak's ongoing work to modernize its fleet of equipment. The last day of service was February 2 for northbound train 14 and February 4 for southbound train 11. <laughs> Notes <laughs>